Hello and welcome back to another Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. I'm C Survivor and today we're going to be taking a look at update, uh, I forgot its name, it's for the Alpha, update 90 Alpha 2. So, where do we begin? Well, there's quite a few things. Let's see, let's see, let's start off with the biggest one. The targeting, target selection shenanigan system has been changed so there's a new method for selecting targets you can pick a target pick it strength and then apply which is the nice and this is one um vibrant target i'll say this has been improved which is very nice so we can say five and it says go to five meters and it's current distance which is so nice plus it was a pinch quicker, just a pinch. So, uh, let's get some ammo. So, we've now got a new scorer. Yeah, so, open set. That's how it used to be, where it's just shoot as you feel. So, let's. Load it up. So, we can see, we've got a nice score and number of shots. Open set, not that complicated. Uh, we've got this sheet mode so we can see stuff, our last few shots, and our actual last shot, which is very nice. So, next off, let's go to shot clock mode. That's where the fun is. So, this is a timing mode so I'll click this show it works and then explain so we got five second countdown uh, reset the visuals on the target and it's a timer thing Ooh, tracking hello so there's a countdown you then shoot so your three timing options, 5, 10, or a random between 5 and 10, which is nice. Uncertainty is always fun. You can't go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in your head as an actual second pace. So we get to see our score, our shot number, the time it took, and the split from last shot. So, you know, 0.2 of a second between shots. Granted, I'm waiting for the gun to stop recoiling so it's back on target much easier to get a more rapid split very easily the most important one is probably that initial time because that's your reaction time which becomes even more important in these two modes so muzzle down to start the countdown it won't start until i put the muzzle down point it at the ground Whew. That was bad. Second to acquisition the target. Yeah, that's your reflexes come in. And empty hands, I'm sure you can figure that out, but... Let's show how it works. So nothing's in my hands currently. And that took an extra 0.2 of a second. I'm going from that to having to go... Ooh. Ugh. Toss it on the floor and all that, you know? Come here. Thank you. So, yeah. Great for um, improving your reflexes from different positions. Which is fun. So, yeah, we've got some new things. Uh, apparent, I'm trying to think. What was the other thing that's been... There's something else that was changed on this. Uh, reset brings it back. Oh, you clip through things. Interesting. Uh, there was something related to the way this degrades in strong mode. Something, something, something. It's more accurate to the amount of damage it's taking. I can't quite remember what was said. And I'd have to look for the things. But there's something. Go check the change logs of the game. That's the best way for this one. Can I? 
Uh, it doesn't matter. Anywho, so what else has been added? Well, we've got some new things in the settings. So there was movement. Um, where is the... The turning, the rotation rate, where is it? Where is... Ah, smooth turn. This disgusting thing that I despise the entire concept of. I can sh There. You can apparently change the speed of it. Which is very nice. And I can't remember where that was. Where was it? Ah, it's in the global. Uh, yeah. I'll find it eventually, which is... Interesting. I have no interest in that. That I, I hate the turning on the joystick. Snap or smooth turn. It's just not my thing. I don't understand why. I'd sooner physically turn around, you know? But I guess it's people with limited space or what. <laughs> Complicated stuff to do with people. And there's one more thing in here. And it's to do with input and controls. Alternate mag pose. So, if I quickly grab a gun, grab some ammo... You'll notice, uh, actually, you can't see. Let's see. Um, where is the gun geos? Oh, firearms. Hi, gun geo whilst holding an object. No, you'll notice it's offset. And, oh, I don't like that. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, that's that's too far forward for the hand. Just, just, oh. Uh, let's just go back to inputs. Uh, use alternate mic post. No. Ooh. I don't like how far that's pulled back and rotated. That's... Ugh. Okay. So, what... It... So, explanation of what it's supposed to be doing is that it's supposed to be pulling it offset so your controllers don't bang into each other like that. This way, it can't. But the... how far you have to tilt that hand forward, I don't like on the index controllers. Okay. I'll... Hmm. I was really looking forward to that, but he only showed it off with the 5. But personally, I wasn't looking forward to it, but I thought that's a smart addition for people with controllers that are... Well, janky, to say the least, because of overlapping all that. I don't find a problem with it, and I probably won't be using it thanks to um, just that pose. That's just... That is far too different. Why isn't it at the same rotation? That's a complete and utter different rotation. Yeah. Oh well. It doesn't matter to me. I'll be using it in standard mode. So, I believe that's everything in the settings. So. Oh no, there is one more thing in the settings. Uh, wrist menus. We now can limit it to one hand. Which is nice. I don't care. I'm sure some people will find that very useful. Options. The most important thing ever. Beautiful. The more options you give, the better. So, I believe the only thing that's new left to have a nose yet is, well, a new firearm. The H416. Which comes with a nice 30-round uh, mag. Hey, it's my... No, it hasn't. I can see the... Oh, there is one more important thing. The way you select... Um, the centre of... The select the... Ammo slot? Yes. Is now based on the mag instead of the top of your... Your geo ball. Your controller's... Grab ball? Point... Which is most impo most easy to see with the um, the thing. Where is it? Back to input. Use alternative pose. More significant with this, but with some fiddly things, it's much better. Because some shells, I think it was shotgun shells that were the weird thing where you try to put it in and it's using the ball and not the shell, and it's like, uh, why aren't you going in? Which is much better. Um, I will also quickly hide the geos. Which is very nice. So, that should finally be all the tweaks with that. Let's, um... 
grab that and grab our sights because we have some sights to mess around with so we've got the rear one which actually has four different sight options so if i get the front sight on wait for luke uh i'm gonna have to try and line that up for you so you've got that you've got a uh pinhole style sight you've got a smaller pinhole sight and you've got a larger pinhole sight and then you've got the open one wait it's four and four and two the same size they look the same size actually oh well i'm probably going to go with this one since I don't like closing over the top of sights, I find it annoying. Uh, let's pull out that stock so it's better. And then we can give it a shoot. And oh, I can see <laughs> I've left the rotation. Rotation I never fixed. Quite got my rotation back to where it was. Completely off. You lot can't see that, but it doesn't matter. Um, so let's reset the target. Tracking's being special, but we'll just ignore it. We'll send it to... Uh, five... No, clear, five meters. Thank you. And you know what? I'll do a standard countdown. Standard rifle. We're in semi. That is terrible accuracy. Mostly. Uh, there it is. I bet you I could get better reaction like than that. Let's go full auto and let's see if I can get a better reaction time. Ooh, that is better. One more time, but with a big mag. I know there's not much left to the target to shoot. Oh, it went back down again. Oh, well. I think that is everything. I'll just have a quick nose at the change log. Um, I don't think there is anything else. There's some bug fixes. Oh. So, yeah, that is everything to do with Alpha 2, which is very interesting. There's apparently going to be more targets visuals which is going to be fun although it's going to be slow because from what he was explaining i think i understand how they're doing it to determine the scoring they have a visual texture and then they have text other textures that are used to determine the scoring based on what you hit that then gets red to do a scoring probably based off some sort of like grayscale thing so out here like you'd have like white would be zero points full on black would be max points and you'd have like this grayscale thing to create different scoring things so you get these different points on here which makes sense that's how i would do it actually that's a great way although it's a bit slow to set up but i think that's probably the smartest way if you had no idea what i was doing it's mm, no idea what I'm playing. It doesn't matter. It's me being a programming nerd and loving this. Similar to a, well, mapping loads of different te textures to create your materials, like having bump maps, reflection map. Okay, not reflection maps. Let's use the proper proper terminology. You got normal maps, bump maps. Um, right? They'll come to me. They'll come to me. Uh, metallic map. Uh, roughness map. Uh, the names are escaping me for all the different maps you, you can use, but yeah. Anywho. Oh. I didn't know pulling down on, down on the joystick caused you to jump. A down push up. When was that added? How have I missed that? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. We'll be having some more H3 shenanigans. I think we'll be messing around in Return of the Rod Wieners, unless some game catches my fancy before then. So, anywho, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. So, hit that like button. Got any comments, questions, drop them down in the comments below. I'll answer if possible. New channel, hit that subscribe. 
Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter and support me on Patreon. Links to those are down in the description. Stay well and survivor out. Cheerio.